The fuzzy little caterpillar curled upon a leaf, spun her little chrysalis, and then she fell asleep. While she was sleeping, she dreamed that she could fly, and later when she woke up, she became a butterfly. Good morning, class. Today we're going to continue talking about metamorphosis and also the difference between an insect and a creature that is not an insect. So let's go ahead and say metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. Here it is. It begins with what letter? M. M. Et. Metamorphosis. So as we continue our study about insects, first of all, the caterpillar becomes something as it changes through the process of metamorphosis. What did the song say happened to the caterpillar? It changed into a butterfly. What letter does butterfly begin with? That's right. B, butterfly. Now, insects have how many legs? That's right, they have six legs, two antennae. They also have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. So I'm gonna show you a picture of something that may or may not be an insect. I want you to tell me if you think this slug, who also is in our garden, or a snail is an insect. Do you think they're insects? Let's look a little closer. Do you see any legs on that slug? No, but I do see something that resemble or look similar to antennae. I wonder what those are called. This snail is in a shell. I don't see any legs there, do you? Do you see a, a head, an abdomen, and thorax separated? No, it's one long organism. So actually, slugs and snails are also in our yard, but they are not insects. Our morning message today is this one. Say it with me. Snail and slug begin with S. Snail and slug begin with S. What letter do they begin with? S. You're right. Snail and slug begin with S. Now they're similar to a worm, aren't they? Well, we have worms in our gardens too. Are worms insects? This says, can you wiggle like a worm? Can you squiggle? Can you squirm? You know, these are very awesome to have in our garden because they make holes and they aerate the soil and help the roots not to be so compacted in the dirt. So worms can help your garden grow because they help the soil. But some gardeners do not like slugs or snails because they eat plants. But I found something online that you might be interested in. Watch this. Slugs and snails, should we love these gliding gastropods? Well, we know that they're not insects because they don't have six legs. They do have a head, however, but they don't have a thorax and an abdomen. Right here is an article written by a lady who loves to garden. And her opinion is that slugs and snails are beneficial. They're good for her garden and she doesn't squash them. And here is why. Look at some of the snails. Even though they do eat plants, she says that they are responsible for eating rotting vegetation. Snails and slugs eat rotting plants. They act as a valuable food source for birds, frogs, toads, and hogs, hedgehogs. And so the birds aren't gonna eat as much of her seeds if they see a slug or a snail. They will 
eat that snail or a slug first. And it is very cool that they eat the plants that are not doing so well. So they eat the rotting vegetation first in the soil. Slugs and snails can be good, it's just the way you look at them. Slug Needs a Hug by Jean Willis and Tony Ross. Slug Needs a Hug. Once upon a tiny, there was a little slimy, spotty, shiny, whiny slug. He was wet and weedy, very, very needy, and always greedy for a hug. I like hugs too, do you? His mommy didn't hug him. It began to bug him, and he wondered why, oh why? Is she never snuggly because I'm so ugly? said Sluggy with a soggy little sigh. He spoke to other creatures with very different features and asked them what he ought to do to make himself more huggable, less slithery and sluggable, for sadly, Sluggy didn't have a clue. What do you think will make him more huggable? Perhaps if you were furrier and fluffier and purrier, said Kitten, then your mom would hug you tight. So Slug put on a woolly hat with a picture of a cat and a furry jacket just in case she might. Do you think she might hug him now? You look so funny, honey. If you want a hug from mommy, said Bird, you need some feathers and a beak. Piglet roared with laughter. <laughs> if it's hugs, the slug is after. He needs trotters and a tail and a squeak. <laughs> with trotters, tail and coat and beak and feathers, slug met goat, who told him that he looked a little weird. If you want to hug, my friend, you need horns stuck on the end and get yourself a handsome goatee beard. Do you think that's going to help? Hmm. Not sure. Slug did as Goat suggested, and he sensibly invested in some horns and a mustache made of string. Moth looked aghast and muttered, and he whispered as he fluttered, Slug, you need some wings, you silly little thing. Slug made himself a pair. He couldn't fly into the air. His wings were scarlet petals from a rose. Although he smelled delightful, Fox declared that he looked frightful and he'd never get a hug without a nose. Hmm, he needs a nose, you think so? Should I lose, lose the beak, thought Slug, if I really want a hug? My mommy would love me more with just a snout. There was very little space to wear them both upon his face, but Sluggy did, in case of any doubt. How does he look now? Slug gazed into the brook at his astonishing new look and barely recognized his own reflection. If she doesn't hug you now, then she never will, said Cow, as she gave the slug a head-to-toe inspection. She looked him up and down. Hoping Cow was right, Slug took slowly home that night to show his mom his fabulous disguise. But after all he'd done, she didn't recognize her son, Mother, it's me, said Slug. Surprise! He didn't look like himself, did he? But I love you as you are. You're the sweetest slug by far, said Ma. You have been very greatly missed. You're beautiful and charming. If I could, I'd hug you, darling. But alas, she had no arms. And so they kissed. The end. Why couldn't she hug him? The icky sticky slug crept through the garden path. Down came the rain and gave the slug a bath. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the icky sticky slug crept up the path again. Slugs need water. They need rain and moist soil. You can remember that detail, and we're gonna conclude our lesson by writing the word 
slugs, and snails. What letter does slugs begin with? S. What letter does snails begin with? S. That's right. I want you to write those two words on a piece of paper and try to draw a slug. Remember, it only has a one body, does not have a head, a thorax, or an abdomen. And here is a snail. Snails live inside shells. Y'all have a great day, and remember, these are not insects. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>